Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over ChatGPT for copywriting or many of your copywriting needs. If you have audience research that you're looking to do, if you're looking to get maybe some bullet points or better describe a product, this is going to be a quick video for you. And just before we begin, I do want to let you know I'm on the tail end of being sick, so I'm not as enthusiastic as I normally am. However, hopefully it'll pass soon and I'll be more lively than ever before. So let's get right on into it. Here I have three templates that you can utilize using ChatGPT. So the first one is tell me about the deepest fears that X might have when it comes to Y. So who is your specific audience and what are they trying to accomplish? Give me a second. I'm going to fill in the X and the Y for you. Okay, so tell me about the deepest fears that busy parents might have when it comes to starting their online business. So we have a specific audience and we have the goal that they're looking to accomplish. This overall is going to be pretty easy. As long as you know who your perfect audience is and what they're looking to accomplish, you simply just fill in the X and the Y. So let's click on enter or this button here and see what we get. All right, so we still have this flashing box here, but it looks like we're done. We got a good amount of content here. So talks about how they have a lot on their plate. Uh, when it comes to starting an online business, it can be a daunting task. So just kind of quickly going through these, we have time constraints, financial risk, lack of knowledge or experience, neglecting family time, lack of support, failure, online security, and it talks a little bit more about that. This is excellent. So for example, if you're going to be doing copywriting, anywhere where you're going to be doing your marketing or your advertising, whether that's say like social media post or like a Facebook ad, Instagram ad, a TikTok video, a YouTube video, these are things that you can sprinkle in and out of like a lot of your uh, content or maybe your advertisements, whatever it may be, even on a webinar or a landing page in your emails. Okay. This talks about a lot of the things that someone who has kids or, you know, parents have on their plate when it comes to balancing stuff, doing stuff. So overall, this is good copywriting information that you can utilize, you know, where Ever you may need. It's a great way also to do audience research. And obviously, you need to research your audience if you don't know them, if you want to be specifically talking about a specific problem or problems in this case. So, what I also want to do is I'm going to paste this in here. So, tell me about the deepest fears that busy parents might have when it comes to getting back in the gym and looking great, looking and feeling great. You know, someone wants to transform their body, you know, something like that. First time going back to the gym in the well, that could be something also if that's your audience, just another example to enter. So as this one continues to write, I'll kind of quickly go through. So lack of time, you know, isn't going to be number one right here with a busy schedule. They might not have enough time to devote to working out Lack of energy being a parent can be physically and emotionally taxing, and some parents may feel like they don't have the energy to exercise. Fear of judgment, that's a big one, kind of like the whole Planet Fitness. That's their whole kind of shtick, I guess you could say. Um, some parents may be self-conscious about their bodies, especially if they've gained weight or lost muscle mass since having children. They may be afraid of being judged by others at the gym and may worry about not fitting in. Uh, fear of injury can be a really big one, especially if they don't know what they're doing. Uh, fear of failure, kind of like with anything. We have fear of the unknown. Some parents may be unfamiliar with the gym equipment and may be worried about not knowing how to use it properly. That's definitely been a thing. Uh, I used to be a personal trainer, so I'm well aware of all these, but uh, taking care of children while working out. I remember someone was doing like very heavy squats and they literally had their kid like <laughs> right to the left of the squat rack. It's like, regardless, I'm getting my workout in. You know, some people are, uh, will find a way to make it happen, I guess is what I'm saying. But these are just some examples. Once again, when it comes to, you know, talking about the deepest fears, say of busy parents, or depending on what your audience is, could be guys, could be girls, could be like, you know, 30 to 40, whatever the age range is. Maybe if you're talking to golfers and they're a little bit older, say 50 and older, or maybe they're retired, whatever it's going to be, obviously, you know, your audience. So that's one example when it comes to copywriting. Let's go with this. I'm going to copy this, write multiple benefits for a course that helps with, okay, so let's put drop shipping and building your online business from home. Why not? Okay. So let's hit enter. And before I do, this is going to be also another good idea for getting ideas. If you're going to build a course, I always say that it's better to find the hook first. So what makes your course so special? What's going to make it different from others? If you start off with the benefits and the hook first, it's going to make it a lot easier for you to kind of create the product after. Rather, instead, if you create a product, it's bland, it's boring, it's dull, it's dry, it's like everything out there. You can't really force a hook out of something that's 
boring. Like you can't polish a turd is the copywriting phrase people use a lot. So keep that in mind is that it's good to get the ideas first and then start with the copywriting and then you can make the product. Let's hit enter here. Okay, so I'm going to read as it continues to write. So we got flexibility. You know, you can work, uh, you can create an online business that allows parents flexibility to work on their business from anywhere, anytime. That can be important. It looks like it's still utilizing information from the previous one if you're a parent or, you know, if you have difficult to have the traditional nine to five. Get the passive income potential. Drop shipping can be a highly profitable business model. And of course, teach parents how to set up and run their own successful online store. I would say that if um, if it wasn't for this example, I would just do a new chat. As you can see, it's still going with the parents angle. That's fine, probably because it's in the same you know chat overall. Uh, low startup cost, scalability, diversification of income, personal growth, better work life balance, opportunity to be your own boss. I mean, and if you've ever seen any type of online marketing course, you'll see that these are very big benefits. Like being your own boss is truly a great benefit. I know I've been doing this for a while, uh, and there's plenty of obviously other benefits that come from it but and it's just still going which is good connect and networking with like-minded people i think i forgot this one cost effective and efficient marketing strategies so a lot of features here not only features but benefits and they give you a good amount there which is always good if you wanted more you can just say write 10 more or give me more but i'm going to go to the last one it should be pretty simple this one's just finishing up here now it's done. Perfect. So write the perfect headline about building your online business and becoming your own boss. Okay. This one's a very simple one. I mean, headlines are very short, so you can just continuously run this as many times as you want. Let's see what we get though. So unlock the potential of online entrepreneurship, take control of your career and become your own boss with a proven drop shipping business strategy. Okay. So once again, we're in the same chat channel here, so we're probably going to be running on the drop shipping. Let's just do write another headline, enter. Empower your financial future. Learn how to build a successful online business from the comfort of your own home and achieve financial independence. Okay. So I think you get the idea there, but overall, these were the three templates that I used here talking about the deepest fears for a specific audience. When it comes to a specific goal overall, you can write multiple benefits for a course that helps with whatever the benefit is or whatever it's about SEO, Facebook ads, affiliate marketing, network marketing, copywriting, you name it. And of course, write the perfect headline about X. Obviously, there's plenty more ways you can use this for copywriting, but I think these are going to be three that are very helpful for a lot of people if you need some quick wins when it comes to finding your audience, getting better bullet points or benefits, or if, and then maybe describing a course or adding headlines wherever you want to use those. Hope you got some value out of this video when it comes to chat GPT for copywriting. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that about does it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.